Well, I did a very silly thing. I thought I could put a little pole on the water and walk across to my teepee. Little did I realize it was about four to six inches deep. At first, my first two steps on the pole were okay. After that, it just got deeper and I ran into my teepee from the other end, from the near end. But of course, I had to climb through all the bram branches that stuck every which way. So that really didn't work out. I ended up getting soaked. So I sat in my teepee and I took off my socks and my shoes and I wringed them out, wrung out my socks and I left my extra socks, the yarn ones, there and on my chair. Couldn't do anything in my teepee because it was too deep in there. So I came back out. Now, coming back out sounds easy, but I had to go through what I went through before. And the burning on my feet, oh my word, so painful. So I walked without bending my feet, like a stick man, up from the teepee, up along the side of the road, over to here, where I am on the bridge, in my lawn chair, which I was smart enough to bring along. And I have now wrung out my socks, put them back on, and they will warm up. They feel much better. If I had bare feet, that would be bad because it would be cold air blowing on them. So at least this insulates them from the cold air and the, they'll become warm water in a while. It's not painful now. It's all much better. Anyway, so if you want to take a lesson out of my book, don't go around water in the spring. Even if it looks like it's just a little bit. See right there, you know how that looks like. It's just a little bit coming down there. And it doesn't look like there's anything in there. But you know, you step on that grass, and that grass is nothing but layers of grass with space between it. And it'll compress right down, and you'll be under about four inches of water in there. I would have gone to sat, sat and sat on Pole Island, but I wanted to be in my chair with a nice back on it. This is my lawn chair. So here we are again. It's not quite... Oh, there goes some ducks. Up there somewhere. Oh, there they go, landing in there. I'm going into the lower pond. I can't even get to the lower pond anymore because all the alders have been smashed down from the the snow that it sat on everything for a couple of months <coughs> or for a month anyway in January December and January so so I can't even go over there to get see them I have to run a chainsaw or something and zip off all those broken alders or bent alders so I can have a pathway again so here we are It's 9 o'clock in the morning, so it's quite a bit of traffic. Monday morning. Monday morning. More traffic early. But then all the people that need to go buy groceries. The traffic goes that way in the morning, and that way at the end of the morning, and that way at the beginning of the afternoon, and that way at the end of the afternoon go to town before lunch and then they go to town before supper after lunch and they come home before lunch and they come home after before dinner there's no town that way there are things that way but it's a lot closer to go to town this way which is still a long drive my mother would think oh, you're gonna go that far away she thinks that a mile or two miles well, there's certain intersections. If you have to go through those intersections, she thinks that it's way far away. Oh, well. There's a lot happening out here, you know. 
It's going around behind. Let me see if I can show you. Around behind. No, I don't think you can see it there now. Okay, there's this bush, which is on the side of the pond, up the side of the water. Oh, right there. And so the water is going around behind it, as well as across this new dam. It goes all the way across. So it's coming around the end of the dam. And then there's a clump of grass here. And it's coming around behind this grass. And then it's just flooded all in there. And there's chickadees over here. <sighs> I had a good time sitting in the woods over there. It was really pretty. It's really nice in there. It's hard to get to because it's so broken down on the way in. It's very nice. And it was interesting, the little tiny balsam trees that were a foot tall that were growing out of little elevations just little areas where there's um, little dry patches above the level of the water in there it's a fen this is all a fen there's always moving water in the bottom of it step in the wrong place you get your feet wet most people would wear rubber boots. My rubber boots have a crack in them. Would have been smarter. I could have walked in there if I had rubber boots on. Oh well, live and learn. Live, learn some things. Some things I just don't seem to learn. Oh well. Talk to you soon.